Yo, what's good everyone? Today I'm gonna to be breaking down an R&B slash soul vibe. I was kind of going for like a 2000s uh, guitar, like quite simple, but it's, it's got a lot of atmosphere and, and uh, soul in it. So I'm gonna let you hear it, and then we're gonna get straight into the into the breakdown. Alright, so to start off with, I had this guitar melody, sounds like this. Um, so that's just going through the guitar amp, it's a clean as a whistle preset. That goes through this compressor. EQ taking out some low end, soothe to take out some of the like harsh frequencies, and then RC20 to kind of make it um, make it a bit more vintage. Uh, yeah, so for this mono, obviously I recorded the guitar in mono, but when you when it goes through this amp, there's a reverb on the end which gives it the stereo field. So like as far as I know, they didn't have like uh, stereo stereo reverbs in that in old studios obviously in the 2000s they did but i like giving it a bit more of a vintage vibe so i feel like that definitely adds to it all right cool and after that there's uh some background guitars uh on the group there's just a compressor and then um three different guitars let me play this one and then that just repeats so it's, it's nothing crazy. Um, it's basically going through the same chain as this one is. It's got the pre V V76, which is just a preamp. And then um, got this delay on. Very subtle. And just so it can like fill in those little spaces. And RC20 has just got a distortion on it. There's another RC20. Um, yeah, just to make it sound more vintage. Spring reverb. So, it's spring reverb. And then I basically just made that mono and panned it to the left. So, I feel like that also helps to give it that vintage feel because you've got the, the reverb but the reverb's in mono so it's just something you would only hear in like an old record if you listen to the difference between um between like the mono with reverb i just feel like it gives it that that vibe that i'm going for so that's definitely a gem right there and then we've got this guitar Again, this is this is going through the exact same chain as this one is. The only difference is that um, it has a wah effect applied on the amp. It's called the postal service. I just kind of mess with the knobs, and then that's how I got this sound. Obviously, I panned it to the right so that it doesn't clash with this. And then I have like a duplicate of that exact same wah guitar. Um, it's just that it has an auto filter on it just to kind of give it some variation. I don't hear what it sounds like. So yeah, basically it has like a very low uh, rate on the LFO. It's not doing a lot of modulation. It's just kind of to, to take it out at some points, which kind of makes it sound more like it's an ear candy rather than like a, just like a straight melody. If you combine it with the other elements, it makes it sound like there's a lot more going on than there actually is. Cause it's like 
at some points is quieter and it can kind of like create different melodies when it interacts with, with the other other sounds so that's definitely a, a cool thing to experiment with all right cool and the last uh, guitar in the background group is just um another wah guitar it sounds like this Yeah, so as you can probably tell, um, I choked it up quite a bit. I was basically just like freestyling, and then I just kind of cut out what I thought would sound good. Basically, this is the same chain as the previous one, but it has a chorus at the end now, which I can't actually unfreeze because it's gonna kill my CPU. But it is just, I'm pretty sure it's either the default preset or it's the detuned preset, and then I just made it mono again and left it in the middle. All together, like all the guitars sound like this. So that's that for the guitars and then after the first eight bars the keys come in um they sound like this and yeah so for this all i did was literally just take the guitar I just copy and pasted it into this track and then Ableton just like um, just like automatically does the MIDI for you so I just kind of like cleaned it up I'm not sure if I added any notes I might have added a few or done some inversions or something but basically just the same progression as this for the processing the dry piano like the original sound is just the LA custom C7 softest preset I didn't change anything in here got the Pro Q3 taking out some some high like high mids got RC20 just to give it more of a vintage feel again. For the utility, it says it's an automation, but like I removed the clip from the part where it was actually automated, so there is basically no automation. And there's just nothing crazy on this one. It's an airy pad. Found this one in Analog Lab. Uh, it sounds like this. Yeah, and it's playing the same MIDI as the keys are. It's got uh, a pancake on it just to give it some movement, 22%, so you don't really hear it too much. Preset is drunk keys. I think it's from one of the loophole banks. I'm not gonna go through all my banks, it's gonna take ages to find it. But yeah, if you have loophole, it's probably in there. And there's the bass with literally nothing on it. I just made it mono and just turned the gain down a bit. It's a very simple bass line, it just repeats over and over. The, the one shot is from XY's kit. And then um, there's just a pad from the CS80. I didn't actually change anything. I was trying to because I don't think it's, I don't think it's tempo synced, but it sounds fine anyways. So let me show you what it sounds like originally. nice pad very bright though so i made it mono and then um put lossy on it to to make it less bright yeah and lastly i just added a shaper box with the volume automation panning just for movement basically and then because it's going to be at like relatively low volumes at certain points i just added this crush like bit crusher to give it some high and then make it so that it doesn't like completely fade into the background like when it's at low volumes so yeah the last thing i added was just vocals
I'm pretty sure I did some very speed. I'm pretty sure I sped it up by like 10 BPM or something and then slowed it back down. Just so it has like a different, uh, different like timbre to the vocals. All right, cool. So I'm going to try and show you the processing for the vocals. These are the settings for the mic mod. And then it's got a DSR on it. I have a Pro R just to try and make it sound warm, basically, but without making it sound like it's um just drenched in reverb. Then the Pre V76, I've shown you that before on the guitar. Uh, J37, um, vinyl is an Arvox, which is basically just a compressor. And then an EQ, another EQ, and then there's this filter, which is basically just a um. It's, it's basically the same thing as shaper box but it's just it does filters only and the reason i use this one is because i feel like it has like a more analog sound you can add like some drive and then i've got a delay on it um i don't think i used a preset for this i think i just kind of messed around until i found something and then there's an, a shaper box which is not actually automated it's literally just um i used it for the bit crusher and at the end there's an rc20 uh that's just distorting it and then i made it mono and used the pancake so yeah, that's that's it really. It's it's not actually that crazy. It's not that much going on. It's only a few tracks. I feel like it's mainly the process and that that gives it the sound. So yeah. Oh yeah. Also the master. Um, it's a pitch wheel of it. And there is the gold particle, which is not gonna open because it is a. Cr but yeah, man, that's it. So this samples off uh, my Unity Free Pack. I released that yesterday. If you haven't already seen the other samples on there. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description. Go check that out. If you're making um, if you're making beats, you're gonna have good melodies. So you're gonna need the pack. You just you're gonna need the pack. If you're trying to learn how to make samples like this, what better way to learn it than literally have all of the stems, and then be able to see what sounds I used and try and compare like recreating samples is a great way to learn. So obviously, if you got the stems, you can do that. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this and yeah, stay tuned for more sample packs, more sample breakdowns, yeah, in a bit.